Hello everyone, my name is Andrei Marius and in this Envato Task Plus tutorial I'll show you how to apply a gradient on text in Adobe Illustrator using two different methods. For the first method we will use a non-destructive fill which means that your text will remain fully editable. Let's select the text and focus on the appearance panel. You can easily open this panel by going to Window and Appearance. So in this panel, click this Add New Field button, make sure that the new field is selected and apply your gradient using the Gradient panel or you can also apply a preset gradient from the Swatches panel. Once applied, you can edit your gradient as you wish. Now, if you take a closer look at your text, you will notice this subtle pixelated outline. This simply happens because of the original text color which still lies underneath your gradient. To fix this issue, all you have to do is remove that color. Get back to the Appearance panel and double click this Characters button to access the original text settings. Click the Fill Color wheel and remove the existing color using this non swatch. And then click this Type button to return to the main appearance settings. Now, as you can see, that pixelated outline is gone. Now let's zoom out. And for the second method, we will use a destructive fill. Keep in mind that whenever you choose to use this method, you won't be able to edit the text later. Select your text and go to Type and Create Outlines to turn your text into editable vector shapes. Now you can apply your gradient, but as you can see, the gradient is applied separately on each letter shape. To apply the gradient on the entire text as you did in this first method, let's turn this group of shapes into one compound path. Make sure that you have your group selected. Click this Unite button from the Pathfinder panel and then go to Object, Compound Path and Make. Now you can edit your gradient as you wish. No matter which method you decide to use, you can also apply a gradient outline for your text. Select your text and your compound path and use the Shift and X keyboard shortcut to easily switch the fill and stroke color settings. To increase the thickness of your outline, all you have to do is increase the stroke weight value. Now, because Illustrator applies a separate stroke for each letter shape from your text, you end up with this ugly overlapping effect. To fix this issue, make sure that you have the stroke selected in the Appearance panel and go to Effect, Pathfinder and Add. Now you know how to apply a gradient on text in Illustrator. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.